This one's going to be on Torrent Flex. It's a command line to watch uh, streaming torrent videos. Similar to what you can do with uh, Popcorn Time, but this one is just terminal based. And this one is actually written by one of my viewers. So he's one of us. We got to check out his program here, see how well it does. Uh, so, bus is out here. Torrent Flex. And right off the bat, you can select uh, you know the sites that you want to search from. So they do have Kick-Ass and some of these other ones. Pirate Bay, of course, and these other two for um, anime stuff, these two. But anyways, we go with Kick-Ass here. And from here, you can search uh, either shows or the movies you want to um, look for. So I'm going to do um, Gattaca, one of my favorite movies. And up top here, um, you know, you can select the ones that you want from here. Uh, they do have, like, what is that, uh, how big the size is. But it doesn't really matter because we're streaming. So it just goes bits by bits anyways. Depends on your connection. Uh, but you can see here, right? So we'll use number one here. And that's it. You select the number. And you hit enter. And by default, I think you use uh, VLC or something like that. But I I'm using M player. Uh, we'll, we'll change it in later on when... Uh, we uh, do the configurations, but right now it's gonna do. What is that? We'll download a couple of megabytes, and then um, after it reaches, I think maybe ten or twenty or something, like that it will pop up a. Uh, was a, a uh, your your um, player, uh, either M player or whatever the player you're using doesn't matter, right? And there you go. It starts the the video and everything. So you don't have to actually download the whole movie. It just it'll just start streaming. But we'll cancel all that hit control C and so on and so forth um, so that's pretty much it for the program really now if you want to do the configurations what is my configurations here this is how you oh there you go so if you want to do configurations this is it here and you can do like nano or uh, if you want to use the GUI editor you can do like gedit if you're on gnome mousepad kate whatever it is right but we're going to use vim here and this is how you would edit the configurations. Really not that hard. They do have subtitles in here too. So automatically grab your subtitles. Now as far as the subtitles I tried, um, is a hit or miss. Like I was watching some TV shows and you know, they got the right one. And then when I'm watching like uh, some movies, it was like out of sync or whatever. So it was hit or miss. But anyways, you can actually enable that in here if you want. Uh, first of all, you want to select your language here. So right now is the in English by default. Um, what's the other one? For subtitles, if you want to enable it, you have to put in, you know, true instead of false, right? You put true and other stuff you can do in here. Uh, by default, it had like a VLC, but you can change it to, uh, you know, any other players that support streaming, like M player. Um, or you can do some of the people like MPV or something like that. You can do that too. And... That's pretty much it, really, in, in the configurations that you can do. Um, and you can do, like, the ports if you want to change ports. Because I remember 8.8.8.8 is port for uh, BitTorrent Sync. So if you're using that, you we want to change this, I guess. And, yeah, that's, that's really all you're going to do, really. So let's try that again here. And we'll do Torrent Flex. And let's say we select a different one here. Let's do Pirate Bay, all right? And we'll do uh, Judge Dread. I tried this one also. All right, so let's go up top here to see what they got. This is horrible seeds. Let's pick another one. Fuck this. Let's do Torrent Flex again, and we'll do. We'll do some anime stuff in here. I think they have some in here, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. So, up top here, we have this anime here, right? One here for Naruto uh, Shippuden for 25. So, we we'll do one. And it should pop up our MPV player here. And there we go. That's how you watch, you know, your shows or whatever it is. You can go full screen if you want, so on and so forth, depending on your player. Uh, so that's it for the program, really. Now make sure you install what is that? Uh, you install the Node.js program. 
they actually have two of these here. So you need to install Node.js and also NPM. And then after that, you follow the instructions on their website uh, on how to install this in here, right? And that's how you get the program. So the back end program is Pureflix that we used before, and the front end is the uh, Tornflex that we just used. Um, so Pureflex is the same thing as the popcorn time, that what they're using in the back end, and you can make any other you know interface to it. And this one happens to be like a command line interface. And that's how you watch the movies, searching from those uh, websites that he has on his list. Anyways, that's it for the program. Uh, not that hard. Uh, I dig it. It's way better than my piece of trash I had before. Uh, so I'll definitely use his program if you want to add more sites and, and all that. That'll be it for this one.